couple of years ago, my uh, daughter got hit with a car while crossing the street. She was hit very hard and she was tossed in the air, I would say about uh, six feet up. See, quantum physics, matter reacts based on you reacting. How you react with matter is how matter is going to react with you. Matter is basically, again, what we were saying is the physical world. I had a couple of choices. When I was looking out the window and I saw a car hit my daughter real hard, tossed up in the air, I had a couple of reactions. My first reaction, I thought, was to scream. And then I said to myself, wait a minute, I remember knowing what I know about quantum physics is your behavior determines the outcome. So I choose to walk across slowly. I took my time. It's a very difficult thing to do. Um, saw her on the floor and just spoke to her quietly and said, hey, how you doing? Everybody around me was screaming, going crazy, and they're looking at me like, oh, I'm a bad father. I'm not screaming. And then the police car was there. And the ambulance came in. I spoke to her and said, listen, I know I saw something happen. I wasn't quite sure what it was, but let's do this, okay? As soon as you finish here, we will go home, okay? Everybody looked at me again like this man has a mental problem. He should be going and going crazy. So we went to the ambulance, she went inside the ambulance, went to the doctor, took her to the whole emergency room. Um, we went outside for a little while in the lobby, and again, my behavior was just as if everything was okay. I didn't show any part of myself in panic mode, which was very difficult for everyone around me because they thought I was being unsensitive. When the doctor came out, they said, we don't understand. There's absolutely nothing wrong with your daughter. And the police officers explained to the doctor what happened. That she was hit by a car going about 40 miles per hour. Quantum physics came in for me at that time. My behavior determined the outcome of my daughter. It's a very difficult thing to accept. Yes, some people call it God. Some people call it this or that. Nothing wrong with that. Whatever you want to choose that it is, what works for you is what works for you. But back to what I was saying. Your behavior determines how the molecules, matters, the atoms move around. So if you're in an argument and you decide to argue, the atoms are going to react and different things are going to happen. If you decide to calm down and relax and be in the listening of what's going on, the atoms will react a different way. So actually, with your thought and your behavior, you have control over a lot of the outcomes in your life. Okay, this is Richard Earthman. I just had to mention that to some people. Love you guys. I hope you understand. If you really have you have any if you have any feedback, please type up. Later.